Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. Now, Alex Puccio has always been at the top of her game, whether it's crushing World Cups or outdoor climbing. So today we look back at three of our favourite Alex Puccio moments, including some awesome throwback footage. And we're starting off in 2014 when she turned a bad morning into a good session at the World Cup. This morning, uh, uh, I felt kind of rubbish. A little bit of a rough start this morning, but I feel like uh, it could get better. Uh, semis, I felt a little bit bad in isolation, but from that, then I went out and the first boulder in semis was a slab, and I kind of rushed it a little bit, but I felt like it was so hot and humid today, I felt like you're just sliding off, and I know a lot of people said that so many volumes just slipping off of everything. I dropped the finish hold of that second problem, second try. Then I was pretty pissed. Third climb, I was really excited to get a short little power problem. Basically, I grabbed three holes. And the last climb was quite long, but I ended up flashing it as well. So now I'm in second place going into uh, finals tonight. Next up is a unique boys versus girls style comp held at the Arcos Animas gym. Here's her thoughts on men and women in climbing and her training regime. I get very motivated to try to show up the boys in a fun way, of course. No, but honestly, like it's a uh, I think years ago I've learned from my own climbing that I used to give myself excuses when I was younger like oh boys are stronger you know like give myself an out like okay they did it doesn't mean I can do it and then at one point I stopped thinking that and it really jumped up my climbing I like, took it to a next level and I didn't see that it's like men and women and that we're they're stronger than us is that we're all different people in general we're all just people and we all have our own strengths and weaknesses and then um, yeah like ever since then I would get motivated when I saw Daniel Woods or someone else like do a climb I'm like oh that's cool I can do it they're a little shorter too so maybe we can use the same beta like I mean I didn't think of that they're a boy they um, you know they're just that's why they can do it and I can't maybe I need to get a little stronger or go train for a certain type of climb but they can do it I can do it is that something you've noticed that started to change within the industry? Because I think there's this, uh, like the whole girl boy, like because we've got women who are climbing 9B now. It's like it's almost like the bar doesn't exist anymore. Are you seeing that coming through with the attitudes of people, or is it still a bit of a girl boy stigma within the industry? I mean, there's always going to be like female and male like stigma because our sport is segregated in the first place. I mean, most sports are segregated. Just about all of them are, um, and I mean. It is interesting because there are genetic things that like you can't deny like on average men are taller than women and I think that is uh, one of the biggest things. You also see the shorter guys, the ones that are at the shorter end of the spectrum in the competitions, uh, they have a hard time on some boulders, you know, they make these huge jumps. But then, you know, you see in the women's category, the really tall girls, they sometimes have a hard time because then, you know, they're on the other spec the other side of the spectrum. So um, I do think that bridge is, uh, the gap is closing for sure. And it's really cool to see also more women are just getting involved into the sport. So I think that was a big thing that was uh, separating it before that the men were just like outnumber the women by a lot. And that's not the case so much anymore. And I think other women climbing strong is just motivating other women to go out there and do the same thing and not to see gender as, you know, a separate thing that we can all climb together and it's fun. So. Often online, you know, you've seen and you know of these amazing training routines and things that you do. Um, is that just something you've always done and that you've always enjoyed as an aspect of the sport, or is that something that you've learnt and you've trained and, and you progress, or is it just part of your DNA? Is it just what you do? I think a lot of my videos came from like the one arm stuff and everything. I never trained, the first time I ever tried a one arm, I did it when I was 16. So it's not something. I ever trained, I would say it's something, and I was saying a one-arm pull-up. Um, I was just naturally, genetically good at. And I think it's, you know, I genetically grow muscles really easily, apparently. Finally, we head to Bishop in America for some high ball, hard boulder action.
I'm a person that gets kind of scared of high balls. I definitely got scared a lot, but it was fun, you know, trying to overcome fears that I had. It's always great to watch Alex Puccio, and if you want to watch the full videos from those clips, there's a link in the description below. And remember, the huge Epic TV Shop Summer Sale is still on, up to 55% off certain items, so click on the link below for a bargain. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.